Hi, Jerry Fogart here with NoGIS.com. Thank you for joining us for another exciting tutorial. Today, we are going to be working with Microsoft Excel files in ArcGIS. This will be a rather short tutorial, so hold on tight. It'll last about uh, seven minutes or so. In this example, we will add the Excel spreadsheet to ArcMap and also preview the Excel spreadsheet in our catalog. Microsoft Excel, also known as Microsoft Office Excel, is a spreadsheet application written and distributed by Microsoft for Microsoft Windows and Mac operating systems. Microsoft Excel has become the most widely used spreadsheet application since 1993. The program displays cells organized in rows and columns, each cell containing data or a formula. We are looking at an Excel spreadsheet revealing information about water wells. As you can see, we are viewing the Excel spreadsheet from within Microsoft Excel. Taking a closer look, we observe there are 19 records and a header field which occupies row or record number one. Each record is comprised of six fields, including an API number, an operator, a lease name, a well number, and the latitude and longitude of the water well locations. If we plan to use the spreadsheet within ArcGIS, it is important that the first row of our worksheet is formatted properly. Why, you may ask? Well, the first row of our worksheet will be used by ArcGIS for the field name. Let's take the time to follow four simple rules to make sure that our first row of the worksheet is formatted properly. First, make sure the field name does not contain a space. Second, make sure the field names contain no more than 64 characters. Third, make sure the field names start with a letter, not a number. Fourth, the uh, field names should contain only letters, not dashes or underscores or even numbers. If we look at column number four in our Excel spreadsheet, we notice that the field name is titled well underscore number. We're going to change that by removing the underscore. Column three has a space between lease and name. We will remove the space. By making these changes, we will have a properly formatted worksheet. After saving these updates to a new file, I will close Microsoft Excel. We can open Microsoft Excel tables directly in ArcGIS Desktop and view them and work with them like other geographic information assets. Let's add a Microsoft Excel table to ArcMap. First, I started a fresh copy of ArcMap. To add the Excel table to ArcMap, we will first click on the Add Data button, and we'll navigate to the directory that contains our Excel spreadsheet, referring to well locations. Here it is. Now here's the trick. We want to double click on the Excel workbook file. We don't want to select it and choose add. We want to make sure we double click on the Excel workbook file. After double clicking on the Excel spreadsheet or the XLS file, the add data dialog box will reveal to us the tables that make up the Excel workbook file. Keep in mind that ArcGIS will reveal a dollar sign at the end of a table name for a given worksheet. We will select this table and click the Add button to add it to ArcMap. All right, so with the Source tab selected, ArcMap will reveal in its table of contents the new table we just added. All right, let's view the Excel table in ArcMap. Using our mouse, we can right-click on this table and choose Open. ArcMap reveals to us the 19 records and the appropriate field names that were in the original Excel file. I'm not sure about you, but I sure would like to see the locations of these well sites on a map. Let's convert this table containing cells and rows into a geographic information asset, specifically point data that we can see on a map. Using the mouse, I will right-click on the table in the table of contents. After selecting Display XY Data, I will specify the fields for the X and Y coordinates. In our case, the X field corresponds to longitude, the Y field corresponds to latitude. All right, this should be pretty obvious, but I'll go ahead and mention it anyways. You'll notice that our data, our Excel file, contains a series of coordinates which represent the locations of the wells. If your data does not have coordinates, 
more than likely you will not be able to visualize locations on a map. I was told that this data is stored in the geographic coordinate system, specifically the North American datum of 1983. Obviously, your data may be in a different coordinate system. We are going to specify the coordinate system of the input coordinate. First, we'll click on the Edit button here. Next, we'll click on the Select button to select a predefined coordinate system. We will open the folder titled Geographic Coordinate Systems. Open the folder titled North America. And select the North American Datum of 1983.prj. After applying these changes and clicking OK, we see now that our coordinate system of the input coordinates is GCS underscore North American 1983. We can now see the well locations on the map revealed as a point feature. These point features are currently displayed as an event. If we wish to save the event as a permanent shapefile or geodatabase feature class or feature dataset, first we right click on the event in the table of contents, choose data, export data by specifying the output shapefile or feature class name, ArcMap will then create a permanent file for us. Let's take a look at the Excel spreadsheet in our catalog. I will open up a fresh copy of our catalog by clicking on the Our Catalog icon here in the toolbar. After navigating to the directory that holds our Waterwell Excel file, I will click on this small plus sign to expand the Excel spreadsheet. After clicking on this table and then clicking on the Preview tab, we can view the contents of the Excel table. It is very important to keep in mind that when we add an Excel table to our map, these tables don't have an object ID field. What does that mean? It means we cannot perform relationships or even edit the data. All right, so as a reminder, if you are looking for additional training material, please take a look at our full training series called NoGIS.com. It contains over eight hours of exceptional GIS training. We've been told it's the best value for GIS training. www.NoGIS.com Hey, thanks again for taking the time to listen. And uh, as always, we appreciate your comments. Take care.